Welcome to the Richesson Reverse Engineering Channel. In the last few videos, I've been showing you this new packet that I found, uh, the data, and trying to decode it. I even went so far as to say I'll give away my prized possession, the collector that I found on eBay, if someone can decode this data. Now, what we're seeing here on the screen is a lot, so let me walk you through what this is. So the smart meter network works by having a area of frequencies from about 902 to 928 megahertz. In here, data comes all down all over the place and the meters transmit and they hop all around. Now, the data that I want to see, it transmits once every 15 minutes or so and it can be anywhere across about 260 different channels. This is a modem that's used by the smart meter network and it has a special test mode you can put it in. In that test mode, you can tell it that you want to listen to a certain channel and it will decode the data and put it on the screen down here that you see. Now, what I thought would be interesting is to try to feed the packet that I found into this modem and have it decode that data. The challenge was you can only pick one of the channels and it has to sit there forever and maybe you do, maybe you don't have the data hit that certain channel. So I let it sit for quite a long time and I, I never saw it. So what I've come up with is a way to take all of this frequency hopping data and funnel it down into a single frequency, 915.1 megahertz. Then I can set the channel of this to that frequency and anything that comes in, wherever it comes in at, I move it over here and send it down to this single frequency. So I thought it would be cool to then see, okay, what is this decode and what do we see? That's what this huge flow graph is here. And I'll explain to you how it works. In order to do this, we need a receiver. With a little antenna. This listens to the smart meter network. Then we need to take this data that's being received, we need to do the funnel thing on it, and we need to send it down to a transmitter that's going to send it out a little port. We're not going to transmit it out into the air, we're going to send it across using a cable to this modem right here. We'll call this the IWR. So we're going to send it across over here, over a cable, into this, and then we'll have it decode onto the screen and we'll see what it says. Now this here is all one piece of hardware. This piece of hardware is a USRP B205 that you see over here on the side. It receives it, it takes the data in, but it doesn't just funnel it down like this. Inside here is actually a Python script. And so the data here comes across in little packets into the Python script, and then from Python, it sends it back over. In here, I can do things like manipulate the data or take the bits and add other stuff onto it. And so it's a good little glue program um, that lets us do this. And then in this transmitter, we send it across. Now the hope is that we feed in one of these extremely long packets and we see what does this thing do with that long packet. That's the whole point of this test. Now, over on the computer, here is the receiving part of that, uh, of that block diagram. All these little spikes here are the individual channels from about 904 megahertz up to 928 megahertz that it's transmitting. I'm taking all of these, I'm sending it over into this script that's running right down here. It is then taking it and sending it back up to here. These are the bursts of data that are being transmitted. And then here is the interface to the modem that we see. This is the GNU radio flow graph where it all happens. This is my standard uh, decoding flow graph that we see here. 
that is used to decode all of the packets for grid stream. This is this data we see down here. It's all the packets being decoded as you've seen in other videos. Now the new part to the flow graph is down here at the bottom. So what happens up here in these two blocks, this one specifically, is I take the raw bits and I send them out. Where I'm sending them out to is this Python program down here. Then in this transmit flow graph, the Python program sends the modified data back to here through this and out and it transmits it. And so right here, what we're seeing is this part where it's transmitting. Now this is the modem interface I was talking about. You can see here you can do a few different things. We can set the baud rate. In this case I have it set to 9600. That's the baud rate that I'm rebroadcasting it on. I can actually take any data that's received here at any frequency and you'll see it come out of this interface. And that's because I receive it in at whatever baud rate it's coming in, decode it, and then rebroadcast it at the fixed baud rate. Now we can also see the, the channel that I'm set to. The channel that I'm set to is 131. Now, if we look, channel 131 is 915.1 megahertz. So it's right there in the middle. It's just picked for no reason at all, really. Now, if we put it in receive mode using those settings, what we see is every time a packet comes across here, it's being rebroadcasted out over into here. Now, what's interesting when you look at this, so like this FB was the ending here, and you can see it right up here, is that same C6 FB. So this packet that was received here from all this frequency hopping stuff was then rebroadcasted out into the modem. Now, something I just saw that was pretty interesting is, they say got packet with 29 bytes. That's this. And then the last six bytes, they always put down here. So this isn't being considered data at all. We know this is the CRC. This we don't know what it is, and this is some kind of timing value. Um, so I'll update the wiki so that it shows these last six are not part of the, the packet, I guess you could say. That's not how they view it. Now, the part that's a bit of a bummer is that the data that comes across here it seems that the modems only pick up or only actually decode anything that starts with 00FF2A. Now you'll recall that the new packets that I found don't start with 00FF2A. They start with 00FF and then 00 through 03. Now for some reason uh, the modem doesn't do anything with this data. So you know, in one sense, this was a, a test that I hoped I would see what it did with it and how it processed it. But it also is a kind of a clue that there must be something special uh, about this data because in the test mode, it doesn't pay any attention to it. Now, what I think I might do in the next video is to take this modem and to disable the transmitter. So this is the, the CRC value for this modem I found. So I'm going to change it to match the smart meter network that's here. And then I'm going to figure out how to disable the transmitter in here. So this thing always wants to talk to the network. That's why I have this little thing on here blocking it. It always wants to talk to the network. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'll find out how to disable the transmitter. I'll set it to the local network here and I'll let it listen and I'll see what does it send out while it's doing it. Um, I can do it a few ways. I can stick it in the Faraday cage and I can rebroadcast data in. Um, I can actually, with the flow graph over there that you saw, so right now I'm only sending back on this single frequency over here into the IWR. But I actually have another flow graph. So I have a flow graph that can send on one frequency. I actually have another one that can send on all 260 simultaneously. So that if I receive a packet here, I can actually broadcast it on all channels at the same time. So if this thing's hopping around or if it's lost, I can get that packet over to it. I'll show you that in the next video. Hey, if you're not subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.